Hi there. Welcome back to my shop. Thanks for stopping in. I have a couple of things I want to show you today. One of them I think will interest almost anyone with a laser engraver. Now this is the steel plate that goes underneath my honeycomb bed. And as you can see, it looks brand new. And that's because it's the bottom. It's never been touched. But take a look at the top. Now, if you had seen this yesterday and then seen it today, you would have been amazed because it was absolutely filthy. It was covered with what looked like rust. Of course, it wasn't rust, but it was what comes off of the wood and everything else that I've been engraving. And it's just beautiful now. And the thing that made it so beautiful was this Dawn Power Wash. I just took this outside and I sprayed it down real good, give it a, a rubbing with a brush and it scratched it up a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that at all. It just did an absolutely great job of removing that. And the second thing is my honeycomb bed. I did the same thing with it. And while it's not looking brand new, you can see some bits of what looks like corrosion on there. It is so much better than it was. Again, I just sprayed it down with this power wash. I let it sit for about five minutes, rinsed it off with a hose, did that twice, and this is what it looks like. I couldn't be more pleased. I think that's just absolutely gorgeous. All right, the next thing I want to show you is these. Now I found this on designfind.com. And I'm going to leave a link to it. What it does is if you can make it out, it's got these right angle cuts in it, which you do on your laser engraver. And then when you put your stainless steel plate and your honeycomb bed in there, it locks them in place. It keeps the honeycomb bed centered it's always going to be exactly in the same spot. So you don't have to worry about whether it's going to be moving. And it also allows you to screw this down to a piece of plywood. So when you move your laser engraver, it's always going to be in the same place. It's going to make it easy to put this in here and zero it out to the same spot every time. I'll be able to maybe put some kind of a guard on here in both directions at zero so that I know where to put my board that I want to engrave or cut. And I'm looking forward to doing that. This is just amazing. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box so you can download this if you want to. Now it's made specifically for the D1 Pro. But with a little bit of tinkering, I'm sure you can make this work for any open architecture laser engraver you might have. All right, let's frame this. Looks good. All right, we'll hit the start. Close this up so that the smoke can be vented properly. And this is supposed to take about 13 minutes.
All right, I'm going to give that just a few seconds to vent the smoke out of there. I don't know if you could see it, but it was certainly coming out. All right. <clears throat> now I was cutting these at 100% power, 10 millimeters per second. Let's see how well these cut. Oh yeah, looking good. All right. With this being only 1 8 inch plywood, I felt it was too weak in between here. So I cut a whole bunch of these rings and I stacked them up here in between these two pieces, glued them in there with crazy glue, cyanoacrylate glue, and it's very, very sturdy now. So I'm happy with that. And that's just a suggestion in case you want to do the same thing. Now, I don't know if it was showing up on camera, but there was a lot of smoke and it's being vented out through that hose. So I'll give it a few seconds to make sure it's cleaned out. Now we should be able to open this up. Okay. I'm just going to wrap some masking tape around my finger backwards so the sticky side is on the outside. And I should be able to lift that right out of there. Okay, some of them cut right through and some apparently didn't. So I'll get all of these out of there. Well, I do hope you found something in this video that can help you in your shop. Maybe these things here, I think they're a marvelous invention. If you don't have the D1 Pro, I'm sure you can figure out how to make the same things for your laser engraver if you want them. And next time I do the honeycomb bed, clean it up, I found some pipe cleaners. I think those might just help get in there and wash out that power wash. So if you saw something you liked here, I hope you'll hit the like button. I thank you for showing up. And if you haven't subscribed before, I do hope you'll do that too. Now between now and next time I do a video, I hope you'll have a great day in your shop and be safe. Thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye now.